In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, changes to the threshold voltage. So when we talked about scaling, we said, okay, the threshold voltage isn't going to change much as we make the transistor uh, larger or smaller. That's uh, not that true. It does change. So we're going to talk about if we make the channel uh, shorter or narrower, how is that going to affect the threshold voltage? So first off, let's take a look at uh, what we call the long channel MOSFET. That's these two uh, diagrams on the top of this slide. And that's what we've been looking at so far. Uh, we haven't called it a long channel MOSFET, but that's really what uh, we've been studying up until now. And over on the bottom left, this is a short channel MOSFET. So the length uh, of the channel uh, for this MOSFET that length L, uh, let's call that L short, is going to be less than the length of the, the channel for the long channel. So let's call that, oops, let's call that L long. And the short channel has a, a length shorter than the long channel. Okay, so why does this have an effect on threshold voltage? Well, if you look at uh, the space charge region, so let's look at the long channel first. So these um, areas with the, the uh, shading in it represent the space charge regions surrounding the, the source and drain wells. And that space charge region is not occupying that much of the, the space underneath the gate oxide. But as we make the channel shorter, as in the short channel device here, the percentage of the um, the area that's under the oxide that's covered by this space charge region starts increasing. And that's important because the stored charge that is underneath the gate is a factor for in the threshold voltage equation. And so in the next video we'll look at quantifying this.